Here we are on the 22nd of September at Iron Fist 4 in Cambridge, New Zealand. The heart of Waikato at Cambridge Raceway. Joined with me today is the champ, Oceania champ, lawyer, Josh Nika and Isaac Savage from NZ Fighter. Welcome aboard today, Josh. Thank you. It's great to be here. Awesome fight so far. Looking forward to this one. First up, this is fight number eight. Out of the red corner, we've got... Kim Farquhar and out of the blue Kelsey Abbott. This is going to be an absolute banger. Both fighters coming in around about the 75 kilogram mark. First fight one out of Tauranga, one out of Ace Fighters. Bragging rights are on the line as both these female fighters throw down. Kim Farquhar in the red, Kelsey Abbott in the blue. As we've said earlier, all the female fights tonight have been absolute bangers. They throw down with aggression, absolute savagery. They don't hold anything back, Josh. No, no. Kim Farquhar representing Bayes Boxford out of Tauranga. And Kelsey Abbott in the blue corner representing Ace Fighters. The crowd's really getting behind this fight. Good following for Kelsey Abbott. A few fans making the, the journey from uh, the Bay as well to support Kim Farquhar. Once again, uh, these fighters, this is both a debut for each one. So everything is really on the line here tonight for jumping in one for the first time, but also to get that W. That's right. Nice high guard there from Kelsey Abbott in the blue, but also there too from Kim Farquhar in the red. Apparently um, Kelsey Abbott in the blue is giving away three kilos here. See a bit of a height difference as well there from Kelsey Abbott. She's got the, the obviously the tool of the two, and she's going to use that reach. Yeah, she is looking like she's going to um, use her jab, utilize that reach. And it's always harder too for a first-time fighter when they do fight a taller fighter because they haven't had that experience to be able to counter what to do, maybe trick, stick, or uh, throw those shots to elude a taller fighter. And it, it depends largely on um, the kind of fighter they are. Some, some fighters are happy to take a shot on their way in. Some fighters want to get, you know, not touched at all. And that's quite difficult for a shorter fighter because you know that you can't really get on the inside without taking a jab. Looking at Kelsey Abbott turn the blue, she looks quite comfortable, quite composed, you know. She's not fidgeting, she's holding a tight guard, Ooh, she's looking where she's going to place the right shots. Beautiful. She's con yeah, controlling things quite well. Just as we say yeah, that, done, yeah. Kim Farquhar comes over the big right hand hook. That's probably woken up the, uh, the brain there of Kelsey Abbott. Some brilliant straight rights there from the woman in blue. Ooh. Big right again there. Big from smack Kim on the arm. Yes, yeah, smack, smack on the arm from Kim Farquhar. Definitely got the power there. Kim Farquhar could come forward and make it a very hard night at any time for Kelsey Abbott. But Kelsey Abbott using her range, using her distance, moving away from the punches. Yeah, Kelsey, Kelsey Abbott's quite methodical with her, her jab and her straight rights. So she's quite spearing with that right hand, but when she throws it, she makes it count. Into the first round. We talk about that headgear. The headgear looks like it's causing a bit of trouble there from Kim Farquhar in the red. And whether it be luck of the draw, personal preference, but like we've talked about earlier, that headgear can be a bit of an inconvenience. Yeah, sure can. Uh, there's nothing more annoying than when you're trying to, trying to get through a session and someone just can't find a headgear that fits them. And, you know, you get them a headgear, it's covering their eyes, it's hiding it, and then it's way too high and uncomfortable. Um, they, they can be a hassle. So a good headgear is priceless. And if you look at, too, the headgear of um, Kim Farquhar in the red and Kelsey Abbott, looking at the blue corner, the headgear is not restricting the cheeks of the eyes, looking at Kelsey Abbott there in the blue, but if you look at the headgear of Kim Farquhar, it's one of those headgears that go across the cheeks, which personally... I don't like it. We've all tried on that headgear and it 
does feel like you're in a, 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 I guess, locked in a cell. It does restrict your yeah. your vision, your movement. It's just a bit distracting. Like you shouldn't be, you know, paying any attention to your headgear at all. Same thing with the shoes. A good pair of shoes, you don't feel. That is true. That Big is true. start to this round. And see, there just, as we see that headgear, it looks like it's causing a little bit of trouble there for Kim Farquhar in the red. There's no eye restriction for Kelsey Abbott there in the blue. Is there an option of taking off the headgear? I believe in corporates there are, there is. I mean, I'm not sure if the rules have changed. I mean, about lately there has been um, a bit of dialogue around the safety um, safety precautions in corporate boxing. So I'm not sure if they've changed the rules and required headgear because we haven't seen anybody fighting without headgear today. Um, but I'm, in the past, you've been allowed the option of wearing it or not. Just as we said that, we see. Kelsey Abbott from the blue just taking charge coming forward landing those pot shots uh, Kelsey Abbott's taking real control over the woman in, in red looking so comfortable too you know we're in the middle of a boxing fight we're in round number two Kelsey Abbott looks like she's reading a book she's so composed she's so chilled Kim Farquhar coming forward I really feel like that headgear is, is causing some issues yeah, yeah. Bit of a hassle for her, I think. Which I don't blame her at all because if I had that gear on, I'd be ripping it off after round two. <laughs> She's still there. She's still fighting. Coming forward, being aggressive, but she can't see. I think Gunner needs to adjust that headgear. Either adjust it or take it off. Uh, it just seems a little bit, uh, uh, I guess, uh, uh, un unlucky or bad luck at the draw when you get headgear like that because the other one looks so unrestricting. Mm, yeah. <laughs> you feel like she might as well be blind blindfolded. The thing is, too, you know, you've got a million calculations going through your brain. And the last thing you do need as well when you're first time fighters is something uh, restricting yeah. your vision. And saying that, brave effort from both fighters. Kim Farquhar definitely got more of the, uh, of the power of the two. Kelsey Abbott in the blue, she's got the range, she's got the composure, she's got the jab. Mm. From the stats we have, uh, it looks like Kim Farquhar has got three uh, kgs um, of weight behind her punches on Kelsey Abbott, but Kelsey Abbott's definitely landing the shots better. And it doesn't matter how strong your punches are, if you can't quite land them, they're not worth much to you. Here we are, as they say, Ooh. once again, the money round. Kim Farquhar thrown down, she doesn't care, she can't see, she's throwing hooks <laughs> at the head of Kelsey Abbott. For all she knows, she's punching the referee. Oh, oh big shots from both Oh, punches. she's throwing it back. You've got to love this. Good girl, Kim, go for it. Coming forward, just swinging. And she's actually landing a few there on Kelsey Abbott. Sure is. I would not want to be on the receiving end of those punches, Josh. I'd rather not be either. Using that jab nicely, Kelsey Abbott. Also, it might add to um, Kim Farquhar's headgear issue, which is good. Keep readjusting. <laughs> Keep re, re um, messing up the headgear every time she fixes it. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely causing some issues. And regardless of that, she's oh, throwing she goes, down. She goes coming forward. See, that's where she needs to really press keep the action. Coming, keep coming. Not We've give her a chance to turn around. 30 seconds to go. Does Kim know this? Does she not? But she's coming forward. She could take this away. Whoa! Big shot again. Big overhand right from Kim. She needs more of that though. She needs more. Maybe get an eight count on her. Even things up. She, she must know she's behind on the cards. Kelsey Abbott coming forward. 
landing those shots. She's got 10 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Boom, there you go. Overhand right. Kim Farquhar coming forward, being aggressive. Kelsey Abbott throwing a bit back of her own. What a finish. Good fight. What a fight. Well done to both those girls, Kim Farquhar and Kelsey Abbott. You'd have to think that Kelsey Abbott's got that fight. Based on a good consistent work with the jab and the right hands and general um, ring control. You know, I would have loved to see that fight without headgear, but yeah. in saying that, you, I, I can't disagree with you on, in the uh, terms of Kelsey Abbott throwing forward or coming forward with that jab, that ring craft, composure, yeah. total control. Yeah. You'd like the headgear to not play such a big part, because um, you can see there, the last 30 seconds, Kim was going for it and getting some pretty solid success. Awesome overhand rights landing there, and um, it definitely bothered Kelsey Abbott. So yeah, I would have liked to see um, uh, Kim Farquhar unhindered for the whole fight. Here we go to Dan Hennessy now for the official decision. There you have it, and it was enough in the judges' eyes for a split, but one judge still thought Tim Farquhar won that fight. What a fight. Beautiful to see, take nothing away from both fighters. Oh, you, were, you were right. Your winner, Kelsey Alp Abbott, out of the blue. You know that other split decision that we thought was wrong? Cairo was the only one that had it, like, um, he, was, he was the only one that had the person we had.